Well, hello again, everyone. Today, we're going to be looking at the Cambridge Pit Minion in the English Standard Version, or the ESV. Uh, in this review, we're going to specifically be looking at the readability of this Bible. There are plenty of reviews that look at the goatskin covers and the binding and the lining and so forth. Uh, we are going to be asking the question of whether or not this is a Bible you're going to be wanting to read on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll show you some of the pages up close, let you try it before you buy it and experience it for yourself. Uh, we will look at the construction a little bit. So this is uh, a black goatskin cover. It does have the gold foil letters on the outside. It does have stamped ribs. These are not raised. So as you can see, it's, it's flush. Uh, the cover is very soft. However, uh, pitmans tip typically have a little bit less flexibility. They're a little bit stiffer, which is fine because it does. It still lays flat and nice. Hold it with one hand. Uh, it's still a nice cover. I think it was intended to be a little bit more firm than some of their other Bibles, uh, which is all right. Again, very soft to the touch. So we'll start by looking at some of the text, though. This is a double column paragraph format. So it is not verse by verse. In other words, the verse numbers are throughout the text. Uh, given the size of the pit minion, uh, being that it's rather small, the verse numbers are even smaller. And given that they're not in bold, uh, it can be a little bit difficult to find verse numbers as you're going through. If you're you know, in church, for example, and need to quickly find a verse number uh, within a sea of text like this, it, it can take a little bit of searching to actually find a verse. But overall, uh, if you're just reading it and enjoying it for yourself, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, the, this ESV is a red letter text, and it does have all of the words of Christ in red, not just the, the words of Christ while he was on earth, which typically go through about Acts, I believe, one or two. Uh, but this one... Uh, it does have red letter text all the way through. Uh, in fact, even if we go clear back, look at like, I think it's Revelation, uh, even in like Revelation perhaps two here, a lot of red letters. So red letter throughout. The font itself is a 6.75 font. And uh, it's gonna be smaller for those of you with aging eyes. However, uh, there's plenty of people that uh, have aging eyes that are still very happy with this Bible. So it's more uh, personal preference. Uh, it is an opaque India paper and it's a very soft, smooth paper. The line matching that they've done here, as you can see, uh, is really well done. So it's behind each line. So you don't have uh, ghosting or bleed through or see through as some call it. And it makes the reading experience very pleasant. And given the opacity of the paper, uh, you're just not experiencing a lot of bleed through like you see today in a lot of the cheaper Bibles that um, seem to sacrifice paper quality and legibility over cost. So this is a really nice font to read. I will mention that if you do happen to have the Cambridge wide margin, or if you'd like to have a study Bible that works in concert with your Pitt Minion, the ESV does have the same pagination as the Cambridge wide margin, which is a much larger Bible and gives you the large margins to write in. So if I look at, let's go here to Luke 4 as an example here. So. We see here um, where you've got, you know, if we turn to page 852 in the Pit Minion, you can see we have Luke chapter 4 on the left here. Uh, I do have a Cambridge wide margin here as well, which we can look at. And as you can see, much larger Bible, uh, but we have the exact same page layout. So if you're used to uh, memorizing verses and you like to use a larger Bible like this to study, but then you want to carry one with you that is laid out exactly the same so you know exactly where on the page that verse was. Uh, it's a really nice thing that they've done here to be able to offer both of them that have the exact same layout. So again, this is the Cambridge Wide Margin, very, very large Bible in comparison to the uh, Pitt Minion, but uh, really nice to have these go together if you're able to pick up both of them. So we'll look at 
several of the pages here. I'll even start back here in the Old Testament uh, and you'll get to see it. Now I have quite bright lighting here and so you're going to see the subsequent pages a little bit better than you will under normal lighting conditions. So as you're reading this with regular lighting, you won't be seeing through the pages like we're able to here. Look at uh, some of the Psalms here too, and Proverbs to give you an idea of how those are laid out. So the Psalms, as you can see, is more of a verse by verse format with the verse numbers on the left side of the column. And actually, let's get Proverbs here, Proverbs verse by verse as well. And Isaiah is verse by verse in some parts. As you can see up here in the upper left, it is not, but any areas that have any poetry are going to be verse by verse. And then we go back to the New Testament here, and you've got, again, the red letters. So all in all, a really, really nice Bible, easy to carry. It's about the size of an Amazon Kindle Paperwhite, at least the text block is. So for those of you that have Kindle to kind of know what the size is going to be. So it's about uh, that size footprint as a Kindle takes up. Uh, so quite small. If you have larger pockets, it will fit into a pocket. But it is certainly not a compact Bible that has such small font that you can't read it. So <clears throat> really nice carry Bible. Um, I find it's nice to put it into a laptop bag, have on flights. Very lightweight. Yet a reasonable size font and pleasure to read. It does have a concordance and the concordance is very brief. Uh, just with a you know, three to four verses per entry. Some obviously have a few more, but most of them are pretty brief. And then finally you have the Cambridge maps in the back with a nice index for the maps. So, but Cambridge always seems to do a pretty good job with their maps. And so there you have it. This is the Cambridge Pit Minion in ESV. I would give it a five star for readability if you do not have serious um, challenges with aging eyes and you're able to enjoy a smaller font. This is, I would give it a five star because of its portability without sacrificing paper quality and not making the font so small that you can't read it. Uh, it's, it's a really well done Bible. And I would say an additional bonus is the pagination with the wide margin to be able to use these two Bibles together. So hope this review is helpful. Feel free to uh, leave any comments of things that could be helpful in future reviews as we look at the readability of many different Bibles. Uh, you're welcome to subscribe as we upload Bible reviews on a regular basis and look at the readability of each of them. So hope this helps and we'll see you next time.